Now let's talk about how to import that file from Photoshop into After Effects. Now as you can see I have a brand new comp ready to roll. So I'm going to head back to that file in Photoshop and show you the little magic trick to getting this out. It's really quite simple. We're not going to use the 3D menu this time. We're going to go back to our traditional file menu and we're going to simply choose save or save as. And as you can see on my desktop I already saved mine as walls.psd. But that's the magic. You don't save it as a JPEG or a TIFF or anything else but a regular old Photoshop document. So I'm going to call mine walls2.psd, make sure it's right here, and hit save. That's it. Now we'll head back to After Effects. After Effects requires us to bring the file in in a certain file format. And you'll find out in just a second. So we're going to go to File, Import, File. And I'll bring in that walls2.psd. I'll hit open. And this is the important part. This dialog box appears with the name of your file and the import kind. The most important thing is right here, a live Photoshop 3D. If you bring it in as footage, you'll notice that our layers will be merged. Or, of course, we could choose the layer we want to bring in. But still, we don't have that live 3D check mark. Without this, our objects will not be able to be edited with the 3D tools inside of After Effects. So we can't roll around it and so on. So I'm going to choose OK. You'll notice that we have our, our walls. We have a preview. We have a solid that's brought in called the walls controller. We also have the layers here. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on the walls. And as you can see, here is our 3D object ready to rock. Now I'm going to grab the unified camera and I'm going to click. Now I'm sure you can see all kinds of possibilities now. You can actually have 3D scenes that you can animate and interact with right here inside of After Effects. Wasn't possible before without having footage brought in it. So for example, you would have to have an animation of a city that you did in Lightwave or Maya, for example, move your camera around and bring those in as still images or as a QuickTime movie, and then composite on top of that. But now we can bring in our fog and our smoke while we are in a true 3D object. So that's it. That's how you work with 3D in Photoshop. Add a very simple texture, move around on the different axes inside of Photoshop, save that out, and import it into After Effects.